and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, The scripture said the world was given into the hands of the wicked. The beast system is run by a group of people who declare themselves to be blessed and highly favored by God. Israelites, the God that prays and favor the other species of mankind is not the Elohim of Israel. It's important that the people of the Most High understand the God of this world is not the Elohim of Israel. If you're a subscriber to this channel or a frequent visitor, by now you should know Satan imitates everything the Most High does to deceive the world. Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, the people who are running the world are wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? How can the world be given into the hands of the wicked and the Most High who is righteous bless the wicked who run this world? The rulers of the darkness of this world declare themselves to be blessed and highly favored because of their beauty, power, influence, and their dominion on earth. The spirit of pride has deceived them. The other species of mankind share many similarities with Satan. The more you examine the other species of mankind, the more their ways reflect who they are. Satan allowed his beauty to deceive him. The scripture says Satan was perfect in beauty. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. The other species of mankind has allowed their appearance to deceive them as well. They managed to get the world to praise recessive genes. The people who are blinded by the beast culture cannot comprehend Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 12. The people who operate in the flesh misinterpret the scripture. They assume the verse is talking about a human king from the seed of men. However, the king of Tyrus was Satan. Remember, just because they appear human, it doesn't mean they are human. Their body is flesh, but their spirit is of the seed of the fallen. That is how principalities are ruling among us in the flesh. The scripture said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The time has come for the people of the Most High to comprehend the dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places the scriptures speak of. The more the people of the Most High understand that we do not war against flesh, the sooner they will comprehend that they live among demons in the flesh. The scripture says Satan and his angels were cast out onto earth. The earth is their dwelling place. How else can Satan become the god of this world if his children don't control this world? The beast system is Satan's kingdom in the flesh. Satan's kingdom consists of the fallen angels, who are also known as demons. The fallen angels are the angels that chose to rebel with Satan. After the war between Michael and Satan, the angels that rebel were cast out with Satan. And a great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Satan's kingdom also include unclean spirits. The unclean spirits are the spirits of the children of the watchers whose dwelling is also on earth. The book of Jubilees revealed this information to us. The marine kingdom is also a part of Satan's kingdom. The marine kingdom is the largest division in Satan's kingdom. The marine spirits are diabolical, 
their presence are everywhere in the beast culture. Every sexual sins come from marine spirits. The dark powers that control the alphabet community and all of its movements are marine spirits. The Most High spoke about destroying a marine spirit called Leviathan, the sea serpent in the scriptures. In that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Leviathan, the great sea serpent, is a high-level marine spirit. When the Most High said in the book of Luke that he gave us power to tread on scorpions, serpents, and over all the power of the enemy, the scorpions and serpents are unclean spirits in the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, in the spirit realm, your dream life, the animals you see, symbolize spirits. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. There are unclean spirits that are disembodied spirits. They attach themselves to the children of men to oppress them. Spirits like poverty, division, hate, anger, death, and many others. The kingdom of darkness also include the hybrids, the serpent seed who control this world with Satan. The kingdom of darkness have members from the children of men, the indigenous black people who decided to follow Satan. Satan's kingdom consists of all things that offend and against the most high. Every force that control the world has a source. Dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places come from the kingdom of darkness. The European standard of beauty that has created self-hate in the indigenous black people is the standard of beauty everyone follows in the beast system. Even if the indigenous black people in the tares do not care about the European standard of beauty, their hearts say otherwise. If the beast culture did not accept and praise the European standard of beauty, the European standard of beauty would not be the beauty standards of this world. If all people are created by the Most High and we are all equal, the image of the serpent seed and all of its subgroups would not be the only standard of beauty. Satan controlled the beast system. Therefore, the image and likeness of Satan will be praised in the beast system. The people who are made in the image of the Most High will be rejected in the beast system because they are not of this world. They are not of the world even as I am not of the world. The indigenous black people are the only group of people who will worship the image of idols and people who don't look like them. They despise their own image to uplift the other species of mankind. Even Satan made sure that his image and likeness is the primary standard in the beast culture. Satan will not allow the image of the most high to be praised while he has dominion on earth. Satan went as far as to alter the image of the Most High to make sure his image be praised and worshipped in the beast system. The tares and all non-indigenous people worship gods and idols that look like them. Black people will praise and worship anything. If that were not true, the Israelites would not be worshipping gods made from man's hands in their captivity. Gods their ancestors have not known in the beast system. There ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Israelites, it is important that you understand there is nothing new under the sun. If you take the time to examine what is accepted in the beast culture and the people who are praised, you will begin to see which kingdom they represent. Nobody linked the European standard of beauty to Satan's pride and downfall, nor does the indigenous black people remember the Most High said Satan was beautiful, which would make his people the standard of beauty in the beast system. It makes sense that the outward appearance is praised in the beast culture. The flesh plays a major role in Satan's kingdom. The Most High does not look at the outward appearance, nor does he operate in the flesh. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. 
for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The scripture said, men look on the outward appearance. One of the many pushback I received from the other species of mankind and all of its subgroups is that the Israelites teach a skin doctrine. The tares and some indigenous black people who accept the ways of the beast culture are quick to agree with the serpent seed and accuse the Israelites of a skin doctrine that spreads hate speech. The scripture said men would look at the outward appearance. Examining the outward appearance is not evil. We live in a beast system that based everything on appearance. The scripture said the most high made man in his image and likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. It is important to identify the people who are made in the image of the most high. Why should it be a secret or a controversy about the identity of the people who are made in the image of the Most High? Only a people who have something to hide want to keep this information hidden. Because the Most High made man in his image and likeness, the original people before the watchers polluted the human species are the indigenous black people. Why do the other species of mankind fear when this truth is revealed? It's only skin doctrine when the indigenous black people is exposing the lies that have been told for many generations. Remember, the truth is not in them. Lying is the serpent seed native language. The scripture said their father, Satan, is the father of lies. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The beast system does everything based on appearance. Your race is determined by your appearance and place of birth. Your race is called after a color. Now that the indigenous black people are waking up from the deception to expose truth, the other species of mankind declared the awakening is only about the outward appearance. The workers of iniquity spend multiple centuries profiting from their version of skin doctrine in the beast system. To identify your adversaries, you must look at the outward appearance. Your human body is flesh. Satan operates in the flesh. But if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. When a victim identify a suspect in a lineup, they must look at the outward appearance to identify the suspect or describe the suspect appearance. Looking at the outward appearance is only a problem when the indigenous black people begin to notice the difference between the two species of mankind. The indigenous black people are discriminated against solely on their skin color. The Messiah and the indigenous black people share many similarities both the Messiah and the indigenous black people are made in the image of the Most High. However, the beast culture reject this truth solely on the indigenous black people's skin tone. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? The book of Genesis said the Most High made man in his image and likeness. Another similarity the Messiah and the Israelites have in common they are called by the Most High's name. The Messiah came in the Father's name, and the Israelites are called by the Most High's name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. We live in a beast system that is run by the other species of mankind. The synagogue of Satan depict the Messiah in their image and likeness. If appearance and skin tone is not important, how come the workers of iniquity depict the Messiah in a false image? 
Not only did they alter the appearance to resemble themselves, they passed around a graven image for multiple centuries proclaiming their depiction is the real image of the Messiah. To the indigenous black people who follow the serpent seed and the tares, are you embarrassed to worship the most high in his true essence? Does his real image offend you? The Messiah said, if you are ashamed of me and my words, I will be ashamed of you. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him, shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. The Messiah went on to say, if you deny me, I will also deny you before the Most High. Rejecting the Messiah's true image and circulating a false graven image is denying the Messiah. Your behavior show that you are ashamed to serve the Most High in his true essence. How come the tares and brainwashed indigenous black people do not ask the demons in the flesh? Why did the book of Maccabees reveal they would open the book of the law to paint the likeness of their images if appearance and skin color are not important? And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. If you are the people of the Most High, the Chosen, the superior race, why did you have to alter the image of the Messiah and paint the likeness of your image into the scriptures if you are the original people? How come the Most High did not create the other species of mankind first if they are the original people and the scriptures are centered around their life? How come the European male cannot produce indigenous black children with his counterpart, the European female? How come the European female do not possess the Eve gene? Mitochondrial Eve gene is passed down from the first woman, Eve, to her daughters. Studies show the black woman is the only group of women that carry the Eve gene. The Eve gene gives the original woman the ability to produce children with all features with her counterpart, the original man. If the other species of mankind are the original people, how come your DNA is nothing but recessive genes? If the other species of mankind was the original people, how come the Most High did not create them first? Why did the Most High create the indigenous black people first? Out of the indigenous black people's sin and the watcher's lust came the other species of mankind. If skin doctrine is not important, why do you weaponize your pale recessive skin tone over everyone else? Melanin is an important gene to have. Melanin serves as a form of protection. The other species of mankind teach that the people who are blessed to have melanin, God cursed them with black skin. Melanin determine your skin, eye, and hair color. There are many other benefits to melanin. How can melanin be a curse if it's value more than gold and the serpent seed is harvesting the indigenous black people for their melanin? Why would you want melanin if the Most High cursed his people with it? Israelites, everything the Most High created has melanin. Let me repeat, everything the Most High created has melanin. The Most High created the human species one time. Any other form of mankind that came after are illegitimate. The behavior of the proud leaders of this world do not align with the characteristics of a spiritual people that represent the Most High. Pride was one of Satan's downfall. Remember, he said, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. He will be like the Most High. The Most High said to Satan, You will be brought down to hell. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. None of the fruits the other species of mankind produce reflect they are the children of the Most High. Their behavior revealed they stem from the kingdom controlled by Satan. The demons in the flesh are not spiritual. They've managed to convince the indigenous black people that they are blessed and highly favored through religion. Spirituality and religion are two different things. The people that are created in the image and likeness of the Most High are spiritual beings. Remember, the Most High is spirit. The scripture did say a time is coming when the true worshipers of the Elohim of Israel will worship in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. 
for the Father seeketh such to worship him. How can the demons in the flesh worship the Most High in the spirit and in truth when the truth is not in them? I have seen many from the other species of mankind confess their kind do not have souls. That is why they can't relate nor display sympathy towards the indigenous black people. Spirituality is within. That is why the scripture said the kingdom of the Most High is within. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Religion is based on the seen things, making religion an institution that operates in the flesh. The people who are trapped in Satan's religious institutions, these people worship and serve their God in the flesh. The people who operate in the flesh cannot comprehend spirit. When the Israelites in the awakening discuss spiritual things, the people who operate in the flesh can't understand. It wasn't meant for them to understand. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Due to the other species of mankind lack of understanding of spiritual matters, they label what they don't understand hate and many other terminology they've created to give them permission to interfere. When you control the media, you can be whatever you want. If you're the most diabolical people in this world and you control the media, the serpent sea can turn their wickedness into humanitarian work. They can transform their murders into the act of saving the planet through population control. They can hide data about themselves by labeling their crimes as a mental illness or mental breakdown. When they don't hold the criminals in their community accountable, the media can say the crime rate among their community are low. The scriptures said they would hold themselves not guilty. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. The scriptures said they do not pity you. When the workers of iniquity charge the indigenous black people for every offense, including minor offenses, it increased the crime rate in their community. The beast system has a way of concealing the wickedness of the other species of mankind to make them appear to be civilized and blessed and highly favored by the Most High. Israelites, there is more to the world we live in that is being concealed by the synagogue of Satan. The word of the Most High revealed there are dark forces and spiritual wickedness in high places the indigenous black people live among. Yet we live in a society that do not acknowledge the existence of these entities and powers that dwell among us. When it comes to religion, they narrow the word of the Most High down to accepting an idol. Disregarding everything else the scriptures say about the entities that oppress the children of men. And in the third week of this jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah and to make to err and destroy them. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father, and they told him concerning the demons which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his sons' sons. I have seen comments made by Israelites and other indigenous black people asking if the serpent seed repent, can they be saved? Why does it matter to you if they are saved or not? Let the fate of their salvation be in their own hands. The word of the Most High said the wages of sin is death. But the wages of sin is death. We live in a lawless society that hate the Most High and his people. Yet the salvation of the serpent seed is a concern to the indigenous black people for what? If the serpent seed truly repented, Satan would not be the God of this world, nor the road that leads to destruction be broad. The privilege they benefit from and all the things they have stolen, they would have returned. That is what a repentant person who served the Elohim of Israel would do. The word of the Most High said the wicked will come to the realization that they inherited lives. However, the scriptures did say, despite of them witnessing the many plagues on the earth, they will not repent. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, 
nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. To the Israelites that are infatuated with the fate of the other species of mankind, if they were of the Most High, they would have been born of the Most High. Many are called, a few are chosen. The scripture said the righteous are barely saved. If we are barely saved, what do you believe the fate of the wicked would be? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? The word of the Most High said the fallen angels and demons believe in the Most High and they fear. However, having this knowledge didn't stop them from being who they are. Only the Most High know what the intent of a person's heart. The two species of mankind can profess with their lips how much they love the Most High. What does their heart say? Only the Most High can see the heart. The seed of the fallen can deceive the indigenous black people with their words, but the Most High cannot be mocked. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. But he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. The dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places stems from the kingdom of darkness. The people who are in power in the beast system are being supported by the dark forces that come from the kingdom of darkness. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The seed of the fallen dwell among us, the scriptures confirm. Their presence are concealed in the beast system. If you have eyes to see, you can see them hiding in plain sight. Spirits do not die. All a spirit need is a human host, a body, to continue to cause chaos. Just like how the scripture said the heart is the most deceitful, who can know it? The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. Likewise, just because a spirit have a human body to operate in the physical realm, it doesn't mean the spirit that is dwelling in that body is of the Most High. It is important now than ever to test their spirit. The indigenous black people have been programmed to look at what they can see to determine a person's character. You need to go deeper. The fallen angels, the unclean spirits, the spirits of the watchers, children, and many other entities are among you. They are the dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places the scriptures speak of. It would be foolish for the people of the Most High to ignore the word of the Most High concerning the spiritual wickedness surrounding them. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Israelites, the book of Ephesians revealed that we wrestle against principalities, high-level demons, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Every one of these powers dwell among you. If flesh is not your opponent, what is? The time has come for you to graduate to a higher level. If you live by the doctrines of men, you will never understand the world you live in. The Israelites and the indigenous black people are living in a time that requires them to not only trust the Most High, but to elevate in their journey to grow to maturity. Israelites, there is more to this life. Go beyond what you can see. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Albeit, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. <laughs>